When creating a new AppRite project, there's three things you need to do to make sure your project is properly set up so you can connect to your AppRite backend. Forgetting to complete one of these three steps will result in errors later when you're trying to make your first request. So let's dive in and see what these are to make sure your next project is set up the right way. After creating a new project in the AppRite console, you'll need to add a platform in order to connect to an SDK. You can add a platform from the overview tab under the add platform section. And from here, you can choose between one of the four client side SDKs or generate an API key with the server side SDK. If you're adding an API key to use one of the server side SDKs, you'll be prompted to set some scopes for this key. And this essentially allows us to set permissions for this key so we can dictate what parts of our applications it can have access to and the level of access that it has. When using the web SDK in particular, you'll need to make sure you have a host name set for your platform. This just tells AppRite what origin you're gonna be connecting to your application from, and failing to set this up properly will result in cores errors later, so make sure you're paying attention during this step. I did just put out a full video and article on this topic, so be sure to check that out if you have any questions or are facing any problems here. Before you can read and write from an AppRite database collection or storage bucket, you'll need to make sure you have the proper permissions set. This can be set from the settings tab under the permissions section inside of a collection or storage bucket. So with these three things taken care of, you should now be able to successfully connect to an AppRite backend from any client or server side SDK. So with that being said, like always, subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one.